Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at The Legend of Korra. We are in book three called Change. This is episode seven, Original Airbenders. Mm. Now, if the title is any hint as to what's going on, <laughs> I got a feeling we're going to see how the new airbenders are picking things up. You know, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how they are learning, especially after discovering that they had the ability, what, a month ago? <laughs> natural original airbenders uh, i don't know look i uh, i love everything that's going on with the airbenders got a new cast and crew gonna need them uh we are going to need them <laughs> more than ever we'll find out how this goes all right without further ado let's go Tenson has brought the airbenders to the Northern Air Temple to begin their training. His pupils once again pleaded with their master to eat something. Look at that place. Instead, he simply <laughs> meditated, getting his nourishment from the universe. Oh, Tang Zhu completed the 97th <laughs> day of his historic fast. Ooh. Anyone besides Otaku? Wheeltail Island! That is correct. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I come seeking boring stories to take back to the spirit world. <laughs> That's my favorite spirit animal, too. Yeah. Love that guy. Hey! Woogie. He's inverted. When do we get to fly around in our own bison like that? Only after many years of practice and intense training. Cool! Wow, look at that! It would take many years to tame them. We brought you more airbenders! Oh, let him get the training. How is everything in the city? Zahir infiltrated the air temple. Is everyone all right? I fought with him, but he got away. And he stole some old necklace that had something to do with Guru Lak... Guru Lakhima. <laughs> Lakshmir. <laughs> Remember that long, boring story about the guy who never ate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just <laughs> said it. <laughs> Where are you? With Beifong's sister and Zaofu. We got a call about a new airbender, and it turned out to be Sue's daughter, Opal. That's wonderful. She is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cora. Bowling out. <laughs> Bowling out. <laughs> Let Janora and the kids help you out. And what about Boomy? He's my worst student. <laughs> if you ask him for help, you can trick him into taking more responsibility by making him think the whole thing was his idea. Ah. <laughs> Works every time. I want to fly one of those oh, bison. I don't know. Come on, let's have some fun. This kid's uh, gonna be no. bad news. I mean, she shouldn't fear anything. She was stuck in the spirit world for right. a while. Oh, what are those? Look, baby bisons. Oh boy. Yeah. So the entire herd will stay near the ground in the valley. Let's go see the babies. No. Oh, yeah. Bison babies. Real. You'd be like a bunch of tourists at Yellowstone. Yeah, we all know how that goes. Kai, get out of there. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're an incredible airbender. If anyone's a master, you are. Oh, this guy's just stirring the pot. How come you grew up to be so cool? Cool is just something you're born with. It's like Boomy Toretto over there. Actually, I need your help. I don't think I'm doing very well with the new airbenders. What would you do if you were in charge? The only way to deal with new recruits is to break them down so you can build them back up. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. Sure My enough. pleasure. <laughs> well, that's what his son's been doing. <laughs> oh! I'm going to break you down and build you back up. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily going to work, though. <laughs> Nothing like a 10-mile hike first thing in the morning. <laughs> Airbenders are able to warm themselves with only their breathing. Everyone get into the lotus position. <laughs> it's not hard if you concentrate. Get back up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you're being a little hard on them? Ignore the lemurs digging in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing when their haircuts. head is shaved, an airbender is able to feel the wind around him. Oh, jeez, look at that freaking razor. What is he even using? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to shave my head. Shaving your head is a personal choice. 
Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're pushing too hard. I have this under control. Ooh, not taking Janora's advice under consideration. Remember, airbenders move like the wind. Uh-oh. Who's one? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the That's smile it. on his face. <laughs> we got Gallagher's an airbender now or what? Everyone is waiting for you, Boomy. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, 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 ouch. Count me out. Fine, quit. When do we get to go home and visit our families? You just got here. Oh. oh. Janora, take over. I'm the master now? When do you think I can get my tattoos? I was just talking to Kai. What does he know about when you should get tattooed? <laughs> I'm not a little Ooh. girl anymore. I can airbend just as well as you. Oh. Whoa. Lead your own class. That didn't go as Just planned. lead them to the box. <laughs> no, look at it. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, already. Nice little guy. He's... Look to your right. One of those people will not make it out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all the spirits go? Ooh, that's not good. Who are these guys? Oh, got him. Earthbenders. Oh, uh -oh. oh, did the queen send people to get the airbenders back? Or bison poachers? What are these kids doing in my cat? Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at his jacket. Poaching. We'll take them to Ba Sing Se. Tattoos. Boomy ruins everything. <laughs> I failed. I remember when I moved out of my parents' house to become an air acolyte. That first night, I was so scared and lonely, and the bed was so hard. It's actually better for your back. see your face, too. You have to be patient. Now I know how Cora feels when I'm talking to her. Boomy, I want to apologize for losing my patience. Get back here! Where's Janara? I saw her fly off on her glider with her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can send a message. Go find Gumju. Tell him we're in trouble. <laughs> Did Janora send this spirit? Is she in trouble? It's like an episode of Lassie. I was just yeah, gonna yeah. say. Is Timmy Mark stuck in the well? Timmy's in the well. <laughs> Are we Janora's get a team? in trouble. We have to go get her. I don't want to get into trouble. Master Tenzin isn't here. It's up to us. Move out! All right, let's go. Hopefully they're sorry. Right. There. Listen, this is what we've been training for. Well, I'm not quitting now. Mm -hmm. They've got two of our own in cages out there, and we're not leaving until we bring them home. Leave no airbender behind. All right, this should be no problem for our uh. airbenders. And twist. <laughs> oh. Hey, what are you doing out? Oh. 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 He sensed it. Oh, having oh, his head he shaved. He sensed it from yeah. having his head shaved. He said that you can do it. <laughs> What's going on down there? I'm coming, Tunora. Oh, these guys are no match mm. for some angry air bison and Tenzin. Oh, Kai showing some bravery here. Mm. That's his oh, girlfriend. God. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, well, let's not forget there's uh, baby bison in the truck. You got me. Uh, I give up. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh he's doing work. That's enough. But that was very good technique. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Coming around. Yep. Well, now maybe... Ah! See nice. how you like it. Yep. Y'all be cool. Right on. Without my shaved head, I never could have dodged that net. You guys should totally get shaved. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a great line. <laughs> you remind me of Dad. I'm sorry I've been causing you so much trouble. I never really felt like I was part of the Air Nation before. You are now. <laughs> They're so friendly now. The bison are the original airbenders. I'm sorry for running off. It's hard for me to believe that my little girl is grown up enough to have her tattoos. But I promise I'll think about it. We'll see. <laughs> classic oh, classic. Yep. We'll see. 
I'll or it's usually it. the ask your mother first. It's like, ah! <laughs> ah, look at that one! He's got a little nub horn. <laughs> I guess everyone is growing <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What a gr That was a fun wow, episode. Wow, guys, what a great way to end that. That yeah. was that was awesome. That one was a lot of fun. It was good to see, you know, the airbender recruits. It's like they needed to take on some low-level baddies to kind of get their confidence up a little bit, work together as a team. And the uh, the bison poachers or rustlers, oh. whatever you want to call them, uh, that worked out really good for them to kind of come together, use their skills in a bit of a combat situation. And it really worked for them. You know, Tenzin was getting frustrated, wasn't sure what to do uh, is to bring him around. And, you know, he had an end goal in mind. He just didn't know how to get there. So he tried to enlist the help of Boomy. And uh, in the end, Boomy did succeed just not in the way he originally intended so this one was a lot of fun it was kind of a nice break from the ultra serious mm. storyline we've had so far and you know don't get me wrong it was important but it was a nice break to have a little bit of comedy and again kind of a a low level mission for our our new heroes to take on so it was a lot of fun yeah very much a fun episode but it was nice to see tenzin and uh boomy like kind of work together or you see them building their 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 brotherhood even more more and more each episode that they seem to work together which is nice to see because you know like boomy said he he has zero powers he never felt like he was part of the family although he was a great general and a great leader he never had you know the air bending or water bending like his sister does so he always was just out on his own so this was nice to see him first he quit but then <laughs> you saw that that natural leader instinct in him just kicked in he's like there's one of ours out there we got to get him and even the, the guy was they were scared well you have to do it i mean and janora was you know she has a lot more of a spiritual connection just has just as much knowledge as dear old dad yep. but then the old we'll think about it from the yeah. father ah we, as kids, we've all been there, right? And even as you guys as fathers, oh, I'll think about it, and I'll think about it. So we've all Let's been see. there. <laughs> uh, you want to bring an audience together, have the theme of the show be about poachers getting their ass. <laughs> yeah. it usually works. I don't Fair care enough. whether it's, uh, it's this or it's a National Geographic show. I think 99.99% .99 of the population loves watching piece of trash poachers Get their come on, get their asses kicked. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun episode, but it, you know it brings up an interesting point because all of a sudden you have all these people who can airbend now, mm -hmm. and you know they, they join up with Tenzin, but you know they're not. Uh, what a lifestyle change, right? Like yeah. he he wants them to be nomads, live at the temple, not see their friends or family. And Guy was like, a farmer last week. Yeah, like mm -hmm. look, I, I want to train, right, yeah. and become an airbender, but you can't just expect people to like give up everything like if they're a, a you know a father or a husband or they working on a farm or have an important role back home and all of a sudden they're just supposed to now you know not eat for 97 days <laughs> you know and and so Ultimate uh, it's it's interesting you know it's kind of like you know joining up in the military today i mean you generally have an idea of what you're getting into because yeah. there's people who have gone before you and it's you know it's pretty i mean obviously the experience in and of itself you you can't understand until you're there. But as far as this is how it's gonna go, where these airbenders, it's like, oh, just come with us, study at the air temple. They had no idea what they're getting into. They want to go home. I mean, it was tough. So it was nice seeing that they found something that they could come together with. I like seeing Boomy take a leadership role yeah. at the time when he kind of felt like he wasn't, you know, measuring up. Um, Kai, you know, you know, not 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 the. Not the most up and up character yet, yep. but he's yep. very young, and so we're hoping for you know a good character arc for him. And yeah, and he was know, ready to let he, loose on he, that. Guy. Uh, oh yeah, Kai showed some bravery, and he was not playing around. So well, I, you I, don't I, mess with is, his girlfriend. This is one of the more fun episodes <laughs> that I've had. I'm I'm sure I'm not unique for my absolute, complete, and utter disdain of poachers. Yep. So this one for me was like... Oh, I was you know. super bummed if that's true that she ate her father's bear because yeah, we yeah. love the, the bear. So, oh. But in any regard, this is a really fun episode. Absolutely loved it. Yep. Oh, my God. There we go. Another fun, another fun episode of Cora. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Cora is now the first metal bending avatar. I had still surprised me that Aang didn't pick that up. Mm-hmm.
Whoa! 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 I can't believe I'm sparring with the avatar. Let me just try this. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Ah. <laughs> try up. <laughs> just... <laughs> Metal bending champion. Guys, it's time to get cleaned up. Tonight's Opal's farewell dinner. But now I gotta say bye to Opal? This is the worst day ever. <laughs> the brother in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making my favorite meal. Every time I eat raw kale, I'm gonna think of you. <laughs> we'll be together soon. Yeah, but that's in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> future. <laughs> what? I can't hear anything. I hate sitting down here. <laughs> Not because of you. I can tell you're lying. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. Lock it down for the night. We'll head out first thing in the morning. I mean, in terms of defenses, that's pretty dang. Good. Yeah, but uh, I have a suspicion that, well, there's four people right there running. <laughs> Pablo, sleep. <sighs> of course, Pablo knows. <laughs> No. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. What? Huh? It's not playtime right now. They got Cora. They got Cora. All right, let's see what these guys do. Oh, All man, right, guys. can we get some help yeah, out here? Our boys are gonna need some backup here. Oh, she can curve it. Oh wow. We can't let them take her. Oh, oh whoa, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody working together? Release the avatar. Wow, he's melting oh. the metal. I'm going to create some cover. We're getting out of here. There you go. Nice. At least get him separated anyway. Oh, he almost got her. Got him. I don't know, but we're not letting them escape. Oh. oh. If one of you can stun her, her powers will be knocked out temporarily. Bolin can land a shot. Come on, you did it before. It's going to take Cracker Jack timing. If we get in trouble, Metal Bend us up. It's Bolin time. All right, let's go. Let's go. Pump him on, up. Bolin time. <laughs> let's go. Are we a go? No go. Copy that. We're a go. I said no. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, the slow motion. Nice. Pull in. You better get a shot. Get a shot. Boom. Oh, oh. Got her. <laughs> nice job, little bro. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. That's a long way to go. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, right. there goes your glider, homeboy! We failed! Where did they Where go? Did they go? <laughs> <laughs> Search the entire estate! This should neutralize the sheer shoe toxins. It's always the sheer shoe toxins. Every time. You assured me this was one of the most secure places in the world. Obviously, this was a well-planned operation, so don't blame me. But there's no sign of them. It would seem they had some inside knowledge of Zaufu. Hmm. A mole. The guards. It had to be one of them. Whoever betrayed my city will suffer the consequences. Oh, whoa, look at whoa, her yeah. sister. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what is your full name? Where were you last night? Oh, yeah, you yeah. can't lie to mm -hmm. this dude. Yeah, human lie detector. My name is Zhu Guan. Same thing I always do. From 9 to 10, I check my uh, body for ticks. Why don't you question Su? I'll gladly be questioned. What is your full name? Su Yin Beifang. And I had nothing to do with the attack last night. She is telling the truth. Do you have any knowledge of the people who tried to kidnap the Avatar? No. Uh-oh. You're lying. What? No, I'm not. How did they get in and out? <laughs> You're a traitor to the entire clan. I suggest we search his... Was it him? Mm. I think it might be him. Our truth seer? Yeah. Oh. 
It <laughs> looks like it's from them. Team assembled. That guard knows everything. Let's give him a little time to sweat it out. He will talk eventually. Yeah, doesn't seem right to Mako. How does a random guard get involved with a group of super criminals anyway? I don't know, but we all saw the evidence. Maybe a little too <gasps> overwhelming? <laughs> <laughs> that lava bender did a lot of damage, but he makes a nice exfoliating rock. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hmm. I would tell everyone he's guilty, and then plant the evidence in his apartment as proof. There you go. Boom. Yep. Maybe he's just the fall guy for the only person who can truly keep a secret in this city. Iway. Iway. All right, that's how he's. That's his name. He's not home. We have to get in there and find some evidence that links Iway to Zahir. Well, it'll be an E. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was unlocked. It's just an empty book. Secret ink. He wouldn't have it just open. Rub some lemon on it and heat it up. I think this bookshelf slides open. Boom. Iway's coming back. What are you doing in my house? Can't lie to him. Yeah, so. can't lie to him. We actually knocked on your front door, and we thought we heard you say, Come in! <laughs> <laughs> we came here because things weren't adding up, and we thought you might have some answers. What is not adding up? You don't think I had something to do with this, do you? Mm. Uh, you think you found something, don't you? Oh, oh whoops. didn't close it all the way. Whoa. Oh. 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 What? Oh. Nice save, uh. Cora. He must have escaped through there. Your trusted advisor was the one who betrayed us. No. Oh, I love that. Oh, she can do it. Ai Wei is a fugitive. Get all available guards to search the mountainside. <sighs> well, at least she's, you know, there for her anyways. Yeah. We located the end of the tunnel, but there's no sign of him. We're going to hold off our search for airbenders and hunt down Ai Wei. I'm taking you back to Republic City where I can protect you. I'm the Avatar. This is my job. Cora, listen to Lynn. Thank you, Sue. I'll have my people prep your airship and you can leave first thing in the morning. I don't like that. I don't mm. like them getting on an airship like that. If they got into Ai Wei, who else did they get into? There's a jeep packed with supplies by the east gate. It's all gassed up and ready to go. Oh... Uh. But you said... I said what Lynn wanted to hear, and I bought and you guys some time. Yes. More tension between the sisters now. Yep. Let's get this guy. Asking for Let's get this forgiveness uh, <laughs> instead of permission. Take me to him. Take oh. me to him. <laughs> oh. I don't like this. I mean, if, if all the uh, other crew is with Iway, they don't oh. stand a chance. That's the end. And that's how they're going to That's how they're going to end is her just... Uh, oof. Well, at least we saw in this episode that Bolin and Mako, they held their own pretty damn good against those oh, guys. Oh, yeah, they you did know, really all, good. All things considered oh, because... They're, so, they're, we they're saw, bending champions. Yeah, and we saw Zahir's crew Pro uh, just pretty much wreck everybody that tried to take mm -hmm. them on. Even when we had a number of our you know, our crew involved, they were able to get away relatively unscathed. So it was good to see those guys kind of be able to hold down the fort while, uh, you know, the sisters could come in from the top and, and get that pulled off. But I don't like this, just Cora and company mm. going after him because you, you know, know that he's, he's 13? with Zaheer's group and they're like walking right into a trap. I think it's exactly what, it's exactly what they want. So, I mean, yeah, I, I don't feel good about Cora and company going after them. Uh, like I said, it was good to see uh, the sisters, while they had a little bit of a blow up, they came back together, although a little bit underhandedly <laughs> at the end. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this episode was definitely a lot more action packed, a lot more high stakes than the last one. And, I mean,. I'm with Cora. I think you gotta suspend the hunt for more airbenders. I think yeah. you gotta yeah. You, oh, yeah. you gotta go after Zaheer, but you gotta do it smart. I yeah. think they're just like just setting them right up to come walking into a trap. Yeah, I know and, they're going uh, after Iowa, but he's gonna be with them. Yeah. You gotta believe it. You you gotta believe that's what the the escape plan was. I mean, it was nice to see them working as a team, bowling and getting the getting the shot in there, being so accurate, like we saw earlier. <laughs> Hitting one of her sons was just ding right there. But as we saw with, uh, with, uh, oh man, I can't, his boomerang, he hit him in the first, I'm, I'm so mad at myself right now. But, uh, the, the other 
the other bender with uh, combustion when oh. his eye got hit by the boomerang. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Sokka's boom, boom, by boom, boom, so bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom, bang, bang, yeah, getting hit by Sokka's boomerang. So yeah. we saw that that can can manage to mess him up for a while. I didn't know that it like it looked like her. It wasn't for too long versus Mr. Boom, boom, bang, bang. But it was still cool <laughs> that and I, and I thought that hero would make quicker work with those two metal benders over there that he was so going with. I, they. But they held their own oh, yeah. as well. But then they said there could be guards working with him, so then I was wondering, oh, no, are they just funning around until he just, all right, this is going to hurt guys to take you out. But then we saw Awe was the uh, one all along, and, and I, I think I called it out when I was like, oh, that, something doesn't seem yeah, right. Yeah. Especially when, he, like you said, the 18-year-old, like, come on, like, really? How like, is he going to 13 be years, he's in, oh, he was bribed or king. Yeah. I got to give Answer a little bit of credit. He was the first one to sniff that guy out. Mm -hmm. I, I, to be honest, until he brought it up, I didn't, I didn't think it at all. Yeah. Um, I just thought he was, you know, just this real stoic character. There was a lot Which is of kind of sad. Too. I mean, a, a great storyline in this particular episode, but a lot of really good action. I love that we got to yeah. see the metal benders go to work, and then of course the lava. And oh, you know, Bolin's baby. character is, you know, he's, you know, he's comic relief. Uh, you know, the the he's not. Um, you know, Sokka, but Soka, Sokka, I keep Sokka, Sokka, Sokka. Like, Sokka. We, we don't, we don't talk mm. about that. Um, but he reminds me of him with, you know, just the heavy comic relief, but he steps up when he needs to. Um, and they needed him to, um, it was great seeing, um, Lin and, uh, and Suyin come together. Um, although at the very end, I kind of get this feeling like that, that that relationship that was being mended just a little bit is going to have another giant. Tearing. You did what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what it's going to be. That's what's going to happen. And that's mm -hmm. going to be them splitting again. Mm -hmm. and who knows? Maybe they'll come back together in a later episode. But this one was really good. I don't know that I feel so great about their group going after the group they're going yeah. after. Um, team, they had a hard time with guards and with Su and Yin there. And now you have just a small handful of people going after four incredibly powerful airbenders. So, uh, uh, hell of I think a way to Awe isn't that. I don't think Awe is a pushover either. He threw up that wall pretty quick yeah, too. So. Yeah. So it's look. It's it's. Uh, they're gonna be well. How many of them went? Four, three. You know, they're gonna yep. be they're gonna be outnumbered. Yeah. So outnumbered against uh, not only really good airbenders or really good benders, but you know the. The, the, the combustion combustion yeah, you know, combustion buster like, yeah. or bender. I'm, I'm not uh, you know i think had they stayed where they were and, and you know kind of gathered some forces and gone after them that's the the one thing that i, I guess i don't like is like okay i know there's not a lot of benders right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's tough to just put together this army but let's 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 plan this out a little yep. bit let's just strategize let's, let's strategery oh yeah. man i guess we'll find out in the next one yeah oh eight down we got five more to go in this season so for abilene oak mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals i weigh sue's trusted advisor uh, has been working mm -hmm. with zahir oh i don't like this yeah just them couple going after Zaheer and his gang. You have to remember they have Nagu and, and Pamu. This one's gonna star Emilio Estevez and Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> nice tracking, girl. <laughs> Stay cool. Let's ask around. Maybe someone's seen him. I always liked another Stako too. That was, was always a good one too. Ooh, look, they have a mover poster of me. <laughs> Must be big Nuck Tuck fans. Yeah. Those are wanted posters. Mm -hmm. Wanted by Her Majesty the Earth Queen. Wow. Ooh. If I ever see her pinchy little queen face again, <laughs> I am gonna. Uh, guys? Uh. We should get out of here. Well, if all you got is some swords, I don't like your chances. <laughs> wow, that's what I would have done. You're, come on, you're the I'm avatar. Not, I've seen this one, I've never seen the. That's <laughs> a good one. Everyone. Now, don't get mad, Cora's fine. I'm just waiting to hear if she tracked down Iway yet. What? You can't control the avatar's every move. I can try. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring treats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of our dogs would want to do that if that happened to them. <laughs> I will investigate the Misty Palms Oasis and see if he's holed up there. You and Asami wait here in case he comes back. All right. Police work is so exciting. <laughs> Oh my I, god. That's not how that would. That's not. I could work. War was the only woman I ever loved. 
until Ivy came along and showed me what real love is. Let's just find Ai Wei. Ooh, you're good at this. You're the son of a shoe salesman in a <laughs> suburb of Chicago. <laughs> Grandmaster B. Excuse me, sir. We're looking for a man about uh, 60, wearing glasses and a long green robe. Sounds like a guy who came in last night. I told him I had the best drinks in the Earth Kingdom, and he called me a liar. <laughs> but he was right. My drinks are terrible. It's like an episode of Law and Order where they go ask the bartender. <laughs> what does he here want with me? What's his plan? I think I found a clue. Yeah, why don't you look in his vehicle? Hmm. Jai Bao's Grove, Sundown. I like the plastic tires on that they thing. They were. <laughs> so tires from my like kids' uh, Tonka. wheels. Yeah. Go away. I'm trying to find something. Aren't you a cute little sweet? <laughs> Ow! Hey! You don't just go and pet... Uh-oh. Spirits. I think there might be a couple bounty hunters over there who recognize me. We've been Got made. Got them all jacked up. Let's lose them. All right, a little chase scene. Yeah, hopefully I can lose them in those yellow jackets. We should head back to core before someone else recognizes us. Oh, there he is. Or we could follow Ai Wei instead. Look! Ting Ting always finds his man. <laughs> Ting Ting. I'll go get Korra. We found Ai Wei hiding at an inn. It looks like he's going to meet Zaheer at sundown at a place called Jai Bao's Grove. Let's go bust Ai Wei's door down and finally get some answers. <laughs> I say we stake out his room, and when he leaves for this meeting, we follow him. And he'll lead us straight to Zaheer. Unless they see the jeep and the giant dog <laughs> following us. <laughs> they did bring the dog. And Pabu. <laughs> We'd like a room on the ground floor. Last time a bunch of teenagers came in here, they trashed the whole room. We found you. No bending in here. We're here to meet Nuck Tuck. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering if they're fans. Yeah. Always love meeting my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I made this Nuck Tuck doll for you. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to rent you any room in the inn. Ah, see? We'll just take the one across from 102. Knock <laughs> up! <laughs> Sprawled <laughs> out on the bed on back. Their feet up like that. Ooh, I wonder if there's any snacks in here. A pie show board! I'll play. No offense, but I learned street pie show from Shady Shin, and I am pretty good, so... I learned to play from my dad, the diabolical genius. <laughs> Looks like we have ourselves a pie showdown. <laughs> Okay, Naga. <laughs> and Pamu. This game is all about slow, methodical strategy. This is a fast-paced, edge of your seat game of chance. Game of chance. Oh, nice. Rule book might disagree with you. It is a game of both strategy and chance. So they're both right. Yeah. There have been countless variations of pie show through the centuries, and each culture has its own rules. That's no help at all. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like that's her job. I win. What? Best two out of three. <laughs> three out of five. Eight out of 15. <laughs> 17 out of 33. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're on the ropes this time. You might actually win this one. Oh. Pablo! <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's how they cut from that scene. I just saw him peeking out the window 15 minutes ago. I'm going over there. Oh, Jesus, Cora. Come what on, you can't be doing? rushing off like that. It's over, Ai Wei. Where's... What? It's in the spirit world? Jai Bao's Grove isn't on the map because it's not oh, in the physical in the world. spirit world. It's in the spirit world. I'm going in after him. Be careful. Well, this is uh, the time where Cora rushing in being rash worked out. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> yeah. So far. Any evidence was destroyed when my library burned. Where is your physical body now? At the Mystic Palms Inn. No one knows anything about us. You are the loose end. Oh. Zaheer! Wow. And that's that. He'll be spending eternity mm, in the fog, fog of lost, lost souls. souls. Yep. I'll answer whatever questions you have. He's up to something. Who are you people, and why do you keep trying to take me? We are the Red Lotus. We are what the White Lotus was meant to be. But it doesn't explain why you tried to take me when I was a kid. That was Unalak's idea. He's stalling to keep her in the spirit world. Gotta be up to something. Misty Palms Inn. You two go. We could have taught you so much. All I wanted 
was to show the Avatar a better path for the world. So you say. Cora, tick tock here. I don't know how, but Water Arm Lady and Lava Guy found <gasps> us. Get Cora out of here. Bolin and I will hold them off. Oh, oh got about that lava bending. Unalak becoming a dark avatar was never part of our mission. And what is your mission exactly? To restore balance to this world. I don't think our ideas of balance are the same. The idea of having nations and governments is as foolish as keeping the human and spirit realms separate. No. <sighs> True freedom can only be achieved when oppressive governments are torn down. It will throw the world into chaos. The natural order is disorder. Uh, one of these guys. I Ooh. can't beat this guy! It's like I'm giving him ammo! Ooh, oh, look at that! Motion. Oh, got him with uh. the ice. Oh! oh! Oh, she's gonna freeze yep. him. Where did the earthbender come from? That looked like it was to hide him. The red lotus should have you by now. See here! Oh, they gave her the old Hannibal Lecter treatment. Yep. Zaheer didn't capture us. The Earth Queen's oh. forces did. They're taking us back to Ba Sing Se. <clears throat> we figured you could find a use for these two. We're taking a trip to Ba Sing Se. Oh, leaving us hanging. Oh, my goodness. You know, when he was sitting there dragging out that story with Korra, I'm like, he's he's going oh, after yeah, the real or, world. Or he's like, I'll answer whatever Any you question, question you want, have. How, how much time you got to give oh, you anything yeah, you want to you know? know. Uh, you know, uh, we've said before in this series that, you know, Korra, she's been kind of learning, and but she has a tendency to sometimes make very rash de decisions and kind of jump into things. But in this case... It actually worked out sort of. I mean, they never would have figured out what was going on had she not rushed in to the uh, hotel, the inn room, I guess, for lack of a better word. So that worked out. Man, I am so worried anytime Mako and Bolin have to take on those guys because they're just like they're hanging in there. They're, you know, really good benders, but it's like, you, think? you know, it's inevitable end to the battle that they're not going to they're not going to pull it out. So. I guess we'll have to see what happens with, you know, with the Earth Queen now having Korra and Asami. You know, maybe they can figure out something on there. Is the Earth Queen going to turn her over to him in some kind of weird exchange? Maybe Zaheer makes some kind of deal or does he even need to make a deal? Can they all just go in there, you know, bending a blazing and just take what they want because they seem to be so powerful that uh, that nobody can stop them even when our team was was going at them pretty much at full strength they still managed to get away so i really like this season because there's an enemy or enemies that i don't think our heroes are ready to take on and granted we had yeah. that earlier on because you figured, okay, once they get some development, once they learn a little bit more bending, once they work together as a team, they'll have it figured out. But I feel like our team is like maxed out with their yeah. abilities and uh, you know, and and the points that they can get to try to achieve their their highest level, if you will. And I just don't know how this one's gonna gonna work out. Yeah, I mean, they thought they had the element of surprise, and then they went into the spirit world, and now always he's trapped in the fog that he's gonna eventually go go crazy, go crazy because it's. You know forever but yeah just the way that zahir was able to still communicate while he was in the spirit world in his physical world to tell part of the well as we guess know him now the red lotus yep you know they think that they're the correct to balance the world instead of the white lotus which we all know come on that is that is uncle arrow in it it's of course that's going to get the balance of the world in it so yeah and then yeah just in, and what was what I like though is the uh, was it Pai Gao Show is what it was called that they both were right in their ways but yet she was she still kept on winning because she had proper strategy instead of just instead of just going in so that was maybe speaking to this episode yeah. that you should have a strategy instead of just bashing right in and yep. seeing what you can do but yep. it was Bull and Mako did a great job you know hanging in there but obviously th those two are just they're masters yeah especially like he said i'm throwing earth at him it's like i'm giving him ammo because yep. he's turning it right to lava yep cora's <sighs> hot-headed she has been <laughs> since the beginning and this episode it was a bit of a catch-22 because 
Um, being that the meeting was taking place in the spirit world, had she not kind of barged in, they, you know, they would have just sat there on the stakeout. Dude never leaves. They don't learn anything. Now, at least um, Cora has an idea of what's happening with Zaheer and what her team is after. But she could have listened to the spirits. Uh, yeah, there. she could have listened to the spirits. Now her, you know, she's in a really bad spot now. Um, having been recaptured by the Earth Queen and, of course, Mako and Bolin. They've been captured oh. by Zaheer. So now our team's broken up. I don't know what's going to happen. We've seen them in some precarious situations before, but this one feels extra, extra mm -hmm. precarious. Yeah. So uh, I just feel like I feel like they should have should have gone the route of a little bit more strategy, a little less hot headed, a little less, you know, you know, put your head down and, and barrel through the wall. And but uh, Avatar's young, she's ambitious, and uh, that's kind of her style as of now, which reflects some of the things that we saw Aang do. You know, in the original, um, as far as, you know, taking action, not really sitting back and thinking things out. And, of course, Aang had the ability of going back and mm -hmm. tapping into Guru's yep. in the past. Yeah, which, and uh, she does not. Uh, does not have that anymore. No. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. Because, oh. yeah, because he, what he said about the previous airbender or previous uh, Avatar could easily been alive but she can't go back to find out so yeah. oh that was a pretty good one so we'll definitely catch you on the next one so for appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer catch you on the next one pals